So today we're going to talk about drawing handsome boys. Now this topic intrigues me a lot because growing up as a young artist in the early 2000s, yeah I'm old, there were not a lot of very helpful art tutorials about drawing these conventionally attractive looking men. Honestly, it was all just about the ladies and how to draw pretty ladies. And even those art tutorials were not very inclusive. My point is, there's more than one way to draw a good looking guy to add to your roster. As we know, beauty is subjective. It comes in many shapes and sizes. So keep watching if you want to see these really important key elements when it comes to drawing men and how to really like broaden your horizon. I'm Sat Molly, or just Molly, and I like to make art tutorials for growing and beginner artists. So let's just get right into it. So here's the basic body type you'll see when learning how to draw the basic shapes of a male or a male's face. This can be helpful to study and you can use it to guide you through your own process as you're drawing on your own time. The first thing you want to consider is really broad and sharp angles. So one thing I really like to do when I'm drawing a guy is give him really ex exaggerated brows, really heavy brows. I always leave that little indent right under the eyelid and then you have the brows. I try to make them a little bushy if I can. That's just my own personal thing. I also make an effort to draw a really defined jawline. And if you look at this, it's similar to the American animated cartoons that you've grown up with, like, I don't know, Batman the Animated Series. Just very solid, straight lines, sharp angles, especially the broad shoulders. Adding a thicker neck really adds to the illusion of that big and strong body type. Sometimes beginner artists will draw smaller necks on their characters, or these types of characters in particular, and you need to show that the neck is supporting the weight of the head. Avoid small necks if you can if you are going for these beefcake boys. Especially if you're going for the big strong superhero man. Now you don't have to do this, but sometimes a dimple in the chin will add a really nice look overall. There's a lot of handsome fellas out there with dimples in their face and especially on the chin. I have one. I'm a lady. I've been told it reminds people of Marnie from Halloween Town. <laughs> Unrelated. Okay, yes, I did forget to draw his mouth, but that's fine. Again, we're just going over really basic shapes. I'll go more into detail about other parts of the face in just a sec. Okay, so that's just one type of handsome boy, but as we know, there's many ways a guys can be handsome. For this example, I'll be drawing a handsome boy with slightly less traditionally masculine features. Mr. Timothy Chalamet is a great candidate for this lesson. So less of a beefcake in this drawing and more of a pretty Victorian boy you can picture yourself picking flowers with in a field before he drops dead of consumption. So for a pretty boy, again, pretty boy but less of a beefcake, you do still want a defined jaw if you are trying to make him look all nice and chiseled. But also we're going to go in and smooth out the features a little bit. So I'm starting off with a basic oval shape and I'm just going to work off of that. Timothy has a beautiful jawline, so that's why I chose him for this example. And although not traditionally masculine, he is still very handsome. He does still have the heavy brows and he has a very prominent chin and oh my god I just slapped my desk those cheekbones I'm trying my best right now to break it off into simple shapes I'm really making an effort to show the indentation of that really nice angle in his jawline now his neck is still going to be kind of thick but I will do my best to kind of slim it down a little bit because again he's a little bit more slim than your typical beefcake boy. This isn't the most beautiful Timothy Chalamet fan art you'll ever see but really I am just trying to focus on the basics here. I mentioned that he's a lot more slim than your typical beefcake boy and that's still very true. Even his nose is a little bit more pointed and slim. My last example had a very like broad nose so if you want to go for a pretty boy, kind of give him a, like a softer nose. Then one more detail you can do if you really want to accentuate those cheekbones is draw these lines across the face and add a little bit of shading to show where those cheeks are hollowed out from the cheekbones. 
you can still draw pretty boys that don't fit into either of these two categories. This next example is mostly an excuse to show off my OC, I'm not gonna lie about that. <laughs> so this guy is supposed to be a huge nerd with noodle limbs, and he's not beefy, nor does he have a dramatic jawline, like Mr. Timothy Chalamet. However, I still added some elements that make him pretty. Instead of redrawing this guy, I'm just gonna draw over my pre-existing artwork. Just to get the point across, I don't think it's necessary to draw him from scratch. So I'll be drawing over him. I'm going to draw his outline. As you can see, I did that thing where I push out the bone of the brow and I make sure that his brow is very prominent. That's something that me personally, I will always do when I'm drawing a guy. I will go in here and actually make his shoulders a little bit more broad because he is a noodle boy, but he's still handsome. He's got broad shoulders and he's strong sort of because he's a vampire you could tell by the pointy ears so the other examples that i've shown you so far i've had really sturdy necks this guy is he's a he's a wet noodle he doesn't have big strong bones so his neck is going to be pretty small and again that's okay to do if that's a character you're going for because nerdy boys are pretty too so his face shape is much more narrow than the other two examples but he still does have that nice sharp jawline that makes him look handsome. And his cheekbones, again, are not as dramatic as Mr. Chalamet's, but I like to put a little line indicating where the cheekbone is, as well as just light shading to show where the cheeks are hollowing out. Now you guys should know this by now, but I love showing examples of other artists who have done an incredible job at depicting whatever topic it is that I'm rambling about. So let's talk about Hiccup. I hope I have the attention of the Zoomers. Okay, so Hiccup is a prime example of how to draw a handsome boy who does not fit the mold of traditional masculinity. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because, again, I do not want artists to assume that the most classical, broad shapes define a handsome male character. Hiccup is tall and skinny, awkward and kind of gangly, the opposite of what you'd usually imagine a Viking would look like. However, the artist did make a point to make him look cool, obviously because he has to look nice to appeal to an audience of people who are rooting for him. So there's that nicely defined brow that I've been talking about in this video. I have not shut up about it, and I never will. He's got a broad, round nose and a defined jawline. One detail that I found kind of funny is that his shoulders are not very broad, so when he does put on his armor, he looks a lot more intimidating than he actually is. Adding some personality to your characters will always make them appealing no matter what, no matter how you draw them. So Hiccup isn't a beefcake, but he's got good bone structure, really pretty green eyes, and he's nice to creatures. That's really all you need. A lot goes into building an appealing male character, so while you should consider this art advice, also think of how you can add some fun elements to make their personalities stand out. Flynn Rider is another example of a traditionally masculine character, but a lot of people also like him because he's funny and he's charming. I really hope you found my advice helpful. I love making art tutorials for beginner artists because when I was a kid growing up and I was trying to learn how to draw, I did not have the resources that we have now. If you liked this video, I'd really recommend watching my video where I talk about drawing expressive faces. That's very important if you're interested in studying character design, or you can watch my tutorials about drawing plus size characters. Thank you so much for watching. Keep drawing, good luck, and have a great day.